We all know of the mastery camo grinds, but one thing I even forget about myself sometimes is that there's camos that you can unlock in ranked every season. If you didn't know, odds are you probably forget about it the same as I do. Every season in multiplayer and warzone ranked, there are two camos that you can unlock. The challenge for multiplayer is getting 100 ranked wins, and the challenge in warzone is getting 1000 kills or assists. Depending on what the seasonal rewards are for your specific rank, there can sometimes be an extra camo to earn. Last season in Warzone, if you achieved a rank of Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Crimson, Iridescent, or Top 250, you got a unique camo that you can universally apply to any weapon, and that goes for any ranked camo. In the season before, Season 2 Multiplayer Ranked had another camo reward for the same ranks Gold through Top 250. The seasonal camos ask you to do a lot, especially if you're going to unlock both of them every season. 100 wins and 1000 kills and assists? That's a lot to do. Most people don't play ranked in the first place, and unless you take it super seriously and try and hit the top ranks every season, you probably just play it with your friends in your pastime. I quite enjoy playing ranked myself, so while I am a completionist and was going to unlock these camos anyway because I want to unlock every camo in the game, I actually enjoy the ranked play experience, and even though I solo queue 95% of the time, I still find a lot of enjoyment in the mode. The camos that I always find worth it are the rank specific season rewards. I love to show off that I hit some of the higher ranks in the game. In Modern Warfare 2, in Season 5, I solo queued to Iridescent in both multiplayer and Warzone. In that season, both game modes had a camo as that rank specific reward. I don't use them very often, but I love having them in my library of camos. In Season 2 for Modern Warfare 3, I only got to Diamond 3 in multiplayer, so I have the Diamond ranked camo. Not the greatest flex I ever had, but last season I got the Iridescent camo in Warzone and hopefully we'll get some more camel rewards in future seasons. In this season, the rank specific rewards aren't that great at all. We have a charm in multiplayer and a weapon blueprint in Warzone. And that's on top of all of the calling cards and emblems that you'll get every season as well. The rarest camo to unlock in Call of Duty is also rewarded in rank play, and that's the top 250 camo. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. The top 250 players at the end of every season are given these rewards. Now unfortunately, to actually even attempt to enter the top 250, you have to be an extremely good player and be able to hit Iridescent in the first place, which the majority of players don't, and that's completely fine, and that's a huge aspect of why a lot of people don't like ranked grinding for camos. To actually get some of the better ones, you have to be extremely good at the game and have a little bit of a time commitment. If you're in the top 250, you're either playing like it's your 9 to 5 job every day just to stay in the top 250 to get those rewards at the end of the season, or on the worst side of the scale, you're either an actual cheater and cheating in the game, or you're purposely playing with other cheaters. From my experience in ranked, both in multiplayer and warzone, I have run into so many cheaters at the high ranks. Anytime you hit crimson or high diamond, you'll start experiencing more and more cheaters every time. And you can't really do anything. You can't back out of the match because you lose SR. The only thing you can realistically do is report them and hope that the anti-cheat actually works at some point and they get banned. The solo queue experience also isn't the most friendly. If you're in multiplayer while solo queuing, you'll be playing with randoms every single game. And sometimes the enemy team is a full four stack squad, which is just gonna beat you majority of the time. Now, it does sound like I'm complaining a little bit about the rank system, but honestly, those are the only issues I've ever had. I still love solo queuing into ranked and having some fun, getting some wins, gaining SR and unlocking these camel rewards. A few of my IRL friends have even started playing ranked and I only hit diamond 2 last season in multiplayer, so with me being down in plat 2, I can play with them now because they're all from gold, they're, they're all over the place in the low ranks honestly, which is completely fine and the games that we play together are some of the best rank experience I have. Now. I don't have the greatest squad when I hit the high ranks, I usually just solo queue the entire time. Very rarely I'll hop on Seabass's stream a few times a season and I'll group up with him and his boys and we'll get a couple wins, it, and I mean more than a couple, like we'll get 20 wins in a single stream which gets a lot of that camo progression done and I get a decent amount of SR to rank up. And honestly when it comes to the, my rank, in Modern Warfare 2, I really cared about it. I wanted to hit Crimson 
minimum every season, which I did. But when season five came around and we had those rank specific iridescent, crimson, whatever camos, and I actually hit iridescent, I got a little bit burnt out after that grind. Now, I don't regret doing that grind because I love those camos, and if I want to, I can show off that I hit Iridescent in Season 5 on both modes. And the same thing last season with Warzone and basically every other ranked reward I've ever gotten. But at least for now, the only seasons that I'm going to start taking seriously, quote unquote, where I'm going to be trying to hit those higher ranks are going to be the seasons where those rank specific rewards are camos. In the meantime, I'm having a lot of fun playing with my IRL friends. I don't mind being in the lower ranks because 100 wins is 100 wins regardless of how you get them. If you're in bronze or iridescent, 100 wins is still going to get you that seasonal ranked camo every season. I do want to put together at least a decent group of people that I do play ranked with more often. I'll have my Discord link in the description below. There's going to be some looking for group channels for Ranked, Warzone, and a few other modes within Call of Duty. So if you're ever just trying to find a group to play with, rank up, unlock some camos, those will be there for you guys. From a more casual perspective of the game, the camo grinds in Ranked aren't for everyone. The majority of players don't play Ranked to begin with, and the people that do play Ranked most likely aren't playing for those seasonal challenges. They're just there to get their high rank or just play with their squad. The only time a lot of people are gonna care about a camo in ranked is when it comes to those rank specific rewards at the end of a season for hitting your top rank. Regardless, I find these modes a lot of fun to play. Even if there wasn't a camo incentive, I would still be playing them. Maybe not as much, but I would still be having some fun here and there and if you're a huge fan of the CDL, you can play like the pros and play in the exact same style that they are. Honestly, if anything, all the players in the CDL are very lucky I don't take rank seriously because I would be coming for their jobs and winning every single championship Sunday, every major.